All right, for percent grade, um, you need a couple of things. You need to convert the percent grade to a fraction over 100. It's just like converting fractions to percents. Then you need to divide the rise over the run, the slope, to get the decimal, and then multiply by 100 to convert it to a percent. Okay, so if you have a slope, you, multi you divide the decimal, then multiply by 100 to convert to a percent, just like you do in, uh, in grade 8. And then remember to put everything in the same units. They'll try to trip you up sometimes with some of the questions where they have something in feet and something in inches. Like example one, a drainage pipe should slope down two inches for every eight feet of the run. Okay, well this we need to convert to inches. So how many inches are in a foot, do you remember? Well, one foot is actually equal to 12 inches. So that means to convert eight feet to inches, I need to take eight times it by 12, so I get 96 inches. Okay, so eight feet is actually 96 inches. So here's a solution. So we have a drainage pipe off a house, and the pipe comes down off the side, like so. And the pipe says that it slopes down two inches for every eight feet of the run. So let's look at this here. I have my slope, which is going to be two, and we've already converted the eight to inches, which is 96, so that's good. Now, what do I wanna do here? I wanna give the percent grade, right? So how do I give the percent grade? Okay, well, I have to, part B says divide the slope, okay? And then when I get the decimal, I have to multiply by 100 to get the percent. Okay, that should be pretty easy then. So I have my percent there, or sorry, I have my slope there. I divide it, two divided by 96, and then I times that value by 100, and you know right away that the decimal place is just gonna move two places. Whoops, I multiply by two, didn't I? Because I said two. Two divided by 96 equals, and then multiply by 100, and you get 2.08. Now remember, I've given this as a percent. So that's 2.08% because I've divided. And then after I divided, after I divided, I multiplied by 100 to get my percent. So divide and then times by 100. And that's how you get your percent grade. Okay. So I would say that that was 2.08% grade. And that's how you convert slopes to grades. Now, in the example above, we had to first convert the units to inches so that we were comparing the same things. Otherwise, we'd be, we would be comparing inches to feet. Doesn't make any sense. Um, after that, it's simply a matter of dividing to get the decimal, right? And then multiplying by 100 to get the percent. The last example here, percent grade, writing the percent as a slope. So if we understand place value, then it's merely converting a percent to a fraction and then reducing. So convert a 12% grade to a slope as rise over run. So let's see here. The first thing I want to do is I want to take my percent and I want to convert it to a converting a percent. Oh, right, to a fraction. Okay. So let's do that first. And it's going to be similar to above where I'm writing the percent as a fraction over what value? 12 over right percents are always written over 100. So now I have it written as a fraction. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce. How do I reduce again? Well, I can divide both the top and the bottom by 4, which gets me to 3 over 25. And that's my rise over my run. Now I've converted a percent grade to a slope of 3 over 25. And that's it. Just make sure that you write your percent as a fraction and then always reduce fractions no matter what you're doing. Always reduce the fractions to lowest terms.